The solar tracking system you see in this video is an invention that I have patented, and everyone is allowed to use it, this is an incredibly accurate tracker, and has the ability of 180 degrees view of space, in this video, I will look at the tracker control circuit, see the previous two videos to complete the tracker topic, wishing you success, Ibrahim Hashemi. Hello to all friends interested in the fixed focus solar system. I hope you are all okay. Last week we talked about how to make a tracker. And I installed it to test on the fixed focus solar system. And controls the system well. Now the sun is almost located vertically. And you can see that the solar dish is almost horizontal. The solar tracker must control the rotation of the two DC motors. Here, five wires came out of the detector and I used the same flat wires. And their strength in the sun is excellent. I added some wire behind the dish that s when the solar dish moves. To use the required amount and do not tear the wire. You can see that the shadow of the focus is also in the center of the dish. The motor that causes the system to move vertically, this is the engine. A 5 watt gear motor small with an additional gearbox. As you can see, I shaped the tracker wires toward the control box. As you can see, these wires are connected to a connector. I put a mark on the connector for each wire. Well, I fit the connector again. This is another engine that exists. To protect it from the rain, I put it under an aluminum sheet. This motor has a 3 watt gearbox, which is very low consumption. And horizontal movement is the responsibility of this engine. Now the engine has moved a little. With proper movement of these two motors. The system can, wherever the sun is, be placed. Well, let's go to the tracker control circuit. In a solar tracker, the optical command must be converted to an electric command. And in electronics there are several circuits that can convert optical command into electrical command. This conversion can also be done with a transistor. But I used op amp ICs in the tracker control circuit. In the image you see is a simple circuit with IC741. The potentiometer in the circuit increases or decreases the input sensitivity. But DC motors with gearboxes in the fixed focus system must rotate left or right. Therefore, two opposite photocell plates control a DC motor. As you saw before, I made examples of different trackers. And I tested different circuits. This is an orbit that I have already made and is suitable for a pyramid tracker. And it worked well. And the failure of its potentiometers made me put it aside. Of course, potentiometers can be removed in this circuit and the equivalent resistance replaced. In the image you see, a control circuit with a number of op-amp circuits with relays. I used to use this circuit for pyramid tracker before. In this circuit, a single photocell is located at the bottom of the pyramid and causes the system to be locked. Opposite photocell plates in the pyramid system each belong to a DC motor. Now you can see the circuit that is currently used in the system in the figure. This is the raw form of circuit design. No potentiometer was used in this circuit. This image shows all the components used. You can see the values of resistors and capacitors in this figure. The input of the tracking wires on the left is quite clear. You can also see the connection point of DC1 motor and DC2 motor wires on the right. And finally, you see the shape of the printed circuit board. All three images are related to a control circuit. I hope the shape of the circuit can help you build it. Friends who are not familiar with circuit design can use the PCB Wizard Professional Edition program. This program is very easy and you can easily work with it. If you want, you can search it in Google and download it and easily design your circuits. Any do you have problems write in the comment. Any friends who try to build a fixed focus system, please share your experience with others. I hope you good luck, goodbye.